The big thing that sets us apart from other spring manufacturers is the fact that we'll do a 10-piece minimum for a custom spring or wire form. Hi, I'm Charlie Klein with the Fox Valley Spring Company. We manufacture custom springs and wire forms. We do anything from 7,000th wire up to 375 in-house. Uh, if we can't do it, we partner with 27 other spring manufacturers. So we really market ourselves as a one-stop shop. Our plant's located in Greenville, Wisconsin, which basically means Appleton, which basically means it's about 30 miles from Green Bay, which means that if you're a Packer fan, we're close. This particular spring, we work with our customer, and the end use here is for working out for exercise equipment. And basically the process that we work with them on actually became patented. And it's this coning right here that sets us apart from other spring companies. Very difficult process to do, but we've been able to do it for a number of years now, and that really does set us apart. The problem was with when you put pressure on the spring, these things were pulling out. And of course you can't have that, you can endanger someone. So they came to us because they heard of our reputation for coning. They had a problem, they came to us, and we fixed it. This spring here, while it looks simple, is actually pretty hard to manufacture. The distance between the coils is called the pitch. The bigger the opening, the harder it is to keep that to tolerance. This spring is actually used in a dispenser application for napkins. This is all used in golf course equipment. So it's used to raise and lower the deck, called a deck spring. The most important thing is to work with a spring engineer because we can take costs out. I like to say that the spring world is Rodney Dangerfield. It doesn't get any respect. Unfortunately, not enough time is spent in engineering school on making springs. So if they really don't know what they're doing, they're gonna put a lot of cost in by making unnecessary angles, material, and all that kind of good stuff. So if we work with them from the very beginning, we can hopefully take cost out of the product. If, the, if an engineer does not design the spring properly, the product itself may not work properly in the field. Because after all, when you're talking about a spring, you're talking about something that's mechanical, something that's moving. So it's got to function properly and get the proper cycle life. Otherwise, you're going to be disappointed in the end result. If you take a product like this, the weakest link on this particular spring is right here, right in the very, very end. If you don't design that properly, that's going to break off. 